Some things we have to look to that can change that perception. And, and uh, if you have any thoughts for us, we certainly want to be about the business of trying to help you. Well, I've, I've been disturbed to keep seeing the polls that I am unpopular. Uh, some of them best friends are. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and I, and I, I think that with you, that it is a perception, although maybe some of the positions I've taken are not popular with all ladies. I would hope that they would be with those of you. For example, the squeal rule. I just, uh, I vetoed a measure similar to that in California when I was governor. I just don't believe that the government has a right to go into collusion with underage uh, children, with girls, something as important as that and uh, keep that secret from the parents. I think if we want to have a, the family institution is what it should be, uh, then the government shouldn't try to substitute for it. I'm sure that many of them are opposed to my position on abortion, but I feel that unless and until someone can establish that the unborn child is not a living entity, and you have to give it the benefit of the doubt and opt that it is and protect its right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And maybe some of those things, and I know that another one, two other ones, I know they feel we've been unfair in our uh, trimming of the budget, trying to trim it. No one has noticed that the, each budget has been bigger than the one before. All that we have cut is, uh, as you know, the law requires that a president must project budgets five years in advance. All we've cut are the projected increases from the previous administration in the budget. Yeah, it's good oh, to see you again. Good to see you again. Then it's a pleasure for me to meet you again. Well, please. Good habit. I enjoyed very much. Thank you. Well, come in. Sit down. No. There's a chair over there. Mr. Ambassador. Good morning. See you. What do you got, Joe? Three. Hello there. Hello. Thanks. Hi. How are you? Good 
to see you. Thank 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 you. you. Thank 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 your country, Italy, is certainly a staunch ally in our participation together, peacekeeping forces and all, and how grateful we are. Grazie, signor Presidente, sulle parole. Ringrazio anche la Commissione particolare per il Sebastio. By local government in facing up to a problem at the local level rather than ignoring us, and I think that your cities have done that. And the third part of this formula understand that in the 34 years that the Municipal League, or rather the Citizens Forum on Self Government, has been uh, granting this prestigious. All American Cities Award that this is the first time the presentation has been made at the White House. And Jim Hetland, your invitation is long overdue. And besides, how could I turn down a presentation that has two California uh, winners? <laughs> <laughs> but it's appropriate that we are in this particular room today, the Roosevelt Room, because I understand that Theodore Roosevelt helped found the Municipal League way back in 1894. Incidentally, we're kind of proud of something. The entire clan of Roosevelt came in here some time ago and made this presentation, which has never before been displayed, and that is his Nobel Peace Prize. And if you won't quote me, I said at the time that, he, that it was appropriate that he finally give it uh, here and that uh, he was a Republican and he proved it. He won it sitting on a yacht. <laughs> Get even with all those people that are saying those nasty things about us. But it was on the yacht, presidential yacht, where uh, he brought the Japanese and the Russians together. Well, you all know my commitment to private sector initiatives and promotion of public private partnerships. So I'm honored to have you all here today. I know the time and effort that's gone into eight successful partnerships, and I compliment the mayors and the business community partners for recognizing the importance of expanding citizen participation and providing these great examples for other communities to replicate. And which reminds me, I hope, Jim, that Municipal League, along with their partners, and Partners for Livable Places has included all those good examples in the data bank, Partnership Data Line USA. All right. Some of us here today have differing political philosophies, but I believe that we all agree on the need for concern for our fellow citizens. And I think it's wonderful that in this time of stress in our country, instead of private enterprise help drying up, it's gone the other way. It has multiplied and increased as people have recognized there was a, a job to do and that they had a part in it. Now, from the health facility and neighborhood revitalization in Durham, North Carolina, to the downtown assistance program in Santa Rosa, California, we witnessed successful local level solutions all expressing our concern. And I would now like to have Jim come up here and we'll proceed with the presentation of these well-deserved awards. My understanding, Mr. President, is that I will announce the community and then if you stand over there, I'll hand you this and then you'll come up. And All right. <laughs> 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 oh. The first award winner, and I would like the mayor of Ames, Iowa, Father Paul Goodland. I've been there. <laughs> Early 
in my first career, I almost froze to death at Ames. <laughs> broadcasting the Iowa, Iowa State game. <laughs> the mayor of Ann Arbor, Michigan, the Honorable Louis D. Belcher. sound like coincidence, but when I was a sports announcer, Michigan's football stadium was known as Pneumonia Row. <laughs> the mayor of Durham, North Carolina, the Honorable Charles B. Markham. No one ever froze to death in Durham. <laughs> How about Fort Wayne? <laughs> The mayor of Fort Wayne, Indiana, the Honorable Winfield Moses, Jr. All right. The mayor of Salem, Oregon, the Honorable Sue Harris. Turn from Klamath Falls. I understand that. Sorry we missed you at that. The mayor of San Antonio, Texas, the Honorable Henry G. Sinaris. <laughs> the mayor of Santa Ana, California, the Honorable Gordon Bricken. <laughs> I know this is nonpartisan, but that's where all the good Republicans go before they die. <laughs> and finally, and last but not least, the mayor of Santa Rosa, California, Mr. Jack Keeley. No, no, no. Madam Mayor. I'm sorry, Honorable Donna Boren. They mixed me up. I'm sorry, Donna. Again, but congratulations to the winners and, and to all of you. And thank you for coming here and letting us participate in this for the, for the first time in the White House. So thank you all. Thank you much.